Hello class. In this video, we'll go through the workflow of adding a UFO into the video. Let's create a composition for our city footage. First, we'll create a mask based on the footage. Duplicate the layer. Apply a tint effect to turn the video into black and white. Apply a curve effect and increase the contrast of the video. Apply a curve effect again. Turn the sky into pure white color and turn buildings into black color. Rename the layer, so we'll not get confused. Since the camera is moving, we will track the movement so we can place masks on the buildings. Select the city layer, apply track motion. It will open the layer tab in the preview window, and create a track point. Make sure your current time is at the first frame. On the closest building, find a spot that has high contrast and move the track point to it. Click on the play button under the tracker tab to process tracking. It will analyze the video and make the track point to follow the area you picked. Create a new null object and rename it to Track Position 1. Go back to the Track Motion tab and click on Edit Target. Apply motion to the null object you just created. Check on X and Y for the applied dimensions. It will transfer the tracking data to the null object and create position keyframes on the null. Create a new solid layer and fill it with black color. Hide the layer and use the pen tool to draw a mask. Make sure the mask covered the lights. Parent the black solid layer to the null. If you don't see the parent and link tab, right click on the layer tab, go to columns and check it on. Now, the black solid should follow the track point. Apply track motion again. Make sure you are at the first frame and will place the track point on the building located in the center. The smaller square is the tracking area, and the bigger square is the searching area. I scaled down the searching area to exclude the white points that are similar to the one for tracking, to make the tracking easier. Process Tracking Create a new Null Object and rename it. In the Tracker tab, select Null Object as the motion target. Apply, and check on X and Y for the apply dimensions. The Null will follow the track point. Create a new black solid layer. Hide the layer and use the pen tool to draw a mask on it. Include all the lights on the buildings located in the center. Parent the black solid layer to the null. Double check and make sure the mask stays on the building in the entire clip. At the last frame, some area is off the building. Go to the first frame, create a keyframe on the mask path channel. Go to the last frame, select the points, and adjust their position. Now, the mask should work properly. We'll follow the same procedure and create a black solid to cover the lights on this group of buildings. At a few spots, the mask is off the building. We can create keyframes on the mask path channel and fix it. Follow the same procedure and create a black solid to cover the farthest buildings. Turn all black solid layers on, and we should have a perfect mask. Select these layers and pre-compose them, so we can group them into one layer. Import the cloud and spaceship footage. Drop the cloud video under the mask layer. Apply the key light effect, and key out the sky. Scale it down along the y-axis. And mask out the bottom area. Change mask type to subtract, and increase mask feather to smooth out the boundary. And set the city mask as the luma mat of the cloud. Create a composition for the spaceship, and key out the green background. If the color has been changed, adjust the screen balance to change it back. At some point, the glow color will reach the edge of the frame, causing the hard edge issue. We can use the rectangle tool to draw a mask, and increase the mask feather to mask out the edge. Bring in the spaceship to the main composition, and adjust its scale. Apply a curve effect and brighten its dark color. The spaceship image is very sharp. However, the farthest buildings are blurry. We can apply a Gaussian blur to the spaceship and adjust its value by referencing the buildings. 
Then, apply a noise effect. Any video filmed by a camera has noise. For CG animation, we have to fake the noise to make it looks real. Find a number that matches your video. Duplicate the city mask layer, and place it on top of the spaceship. Set it as the luma mat of the spaceship. Now, we can create keyframes on the spaceship and make it fly up. Duplicate the spaceship layer and we will create reflections in the water. Delete its position keyframes. Flip it by changing its scale on Y axis. We'll create a mask for the water. Duplicate the city layer, place it on top of the spaceship layer. Rename the spaceship layer to reflection, and rename the city layer to water mask. Apply a tint effect on the water mask, and apply a curve effect to increase the contrast. Set the water mask as the luma mat of the reflection. Now the reflection will look more natural. Create keyframes on the reflection to follow the spaceship's motion. The edge between the building and the spaceship is too sharp and unrealistic. We can apply a Gaussian blur effect to the city mask. Give it a small value to soften the edge. The edge between the building and the clouds is the same issue. We can duplicate the blur effect and paste it onto the other city mask. Now, it looks much better. Create a new adjustment layer. Rename it to Glow. Apply a Glow effect to it. Adjust its value. Decrease the opacity of the Glow layer if it is too intense. We can also reduce the cloud's opacity to make it look more natural. Go to Export and add to Media Encoder for rendering. That's the whole workflow of adding a UFO into the video.